Hey everybody. So I want to share with you something that happened to me this morning. So I was in that beautiful stage of between being asleep and being awake when I felt someone touching my hair. And when I looked, it was my dad. And so he says to me, he like leans down and he says right near my ear, he says, it's time to detox your liver. And I said, okay. And he said, don't forget. I said, okay. And he, poof, he was gone. And, and before I could even realize and like ask any more questions, he was gone. But then I started connecting in with my team. And what's interesting that came up is yes, there's that physical needing to detox the liver. But what is liver? Liver is anger. And so as I went into it, what I understood was I'm now at this stage where I'm working on that suppressed rage and it is rage and it's not from this lifetime because I have felt it bubble up before and it is very much this rage over the suppression of the divine feminine and all of the things that have happened after that. Just how things were suppressed, how <sighs> this world has gone completely askew because the divine feminine was repressed. And this isn't about males and females. We've all been male. We've all been female. We all hold that feminine and masculine within us. But we can see where we have had to, in order to survive, we've had to suppress that very powerful feminine that goes with the flow, that is deeply intuitive, that is the natural healer. And so as I'm sitting with this, what I have come to understand, and the reason I'm sharing this is because Spirit said, many of us are at this stage. And when I tap into this rage, it is like white hot fire. And I realize now that I am at a place in my life where I can work through this, I can feel it without putting it on others, without taking it out on others. And I am now able to transmute it from being this absolute, complete, burn the world down rage to a very sacred fire. And with that sacred fire, it becomes a generator. It's how we begin to change things. It's how we begin to do different, to demand different, and it changes the energetic signature. So it's fascinating because it's not so much the complete letting go. It's the letting go of the toxicness, of the suppression, but it is a becoming of all the ways that we can step into our power. And I think, you know, as I'm as I'm sitting with it, I'm like, I wasn't ready for this before. I wasn't ready for this level of dealing with the detox, dealing with the the feelings that can come up that that are complete rage to complete grief. And so now I'm at this stage where it's like it's time. It's time to detox the liver, not just from this lifetime because I've done so much work on this lifetime all the lifetimes because this is the accumulation life for many of us to where we're taking everything all the lessons all the hurts all the joys and it's one big giant package and we are in this reconciliation phase to where we can look at the good the bad the ugly we can look at the good lives we've had the bad lives we've had the things that we learned whether we were playing a good role a bad role and we can sum it all up now. It is that thesis statement of our lives. And I say lives as in many, many lives. And so in, in this process, we are now at the stage to where we can detox from the things that are suppressed, the things that are still harming us because we're holding it in. Instead of us being able to transmute it and create into the sacred fire that changes everything. So as I was sitting with this, it was like, okay, what if the rage just bubbles up? You know, I don't want to ever take it out on anybody. And, you know, I'm sure my husband doesn't want it coming out onto him either. And what they said was use the sacred waters, use water, whether you're drinking it, whether you're soaking in it, whether you're swimming in it, use water. 
and use the energy of the water to cool that fire and help you to transmute it. So if you are finding you're at that stage to where there's some rage that is starting to come up, tap into yourself. Are you at this stage now to where you are also detoxing from the lifetimes? And instead of it being something that we've suppressed, we can now transmute it and we can use it. It's a generator. And from that space, we can really create the new. So I hope this message finds you well. And if you are at this stage, enjoy the detox and allow yourself to feel whatever you need to feel, whether it's rage, whether it's grief, whether it's just apathy. The important part is not taking it out on anyone, and which is why we need to be consciously aware of what's happening so that we don't. So I'm sending you all lots and lots of love as we go through this process because it's a big one and it's an important one. And it really speaks to where we're at in this process if you're resonating with this. Take care.